Hello everyone. My name is Pratik and I'm a PhD candidate at the Indian Institute of Science. I'll be talking about designing virtual memory system for MCM GPUs. The demand for compute has been rising due to data intensive applications like machine learning and data analytics. These applications rely on the massive parallelism of GPUs. GPUs are getting bigger in response to the increasing demand for compute. For example, the recent Ampere A100 GPU from Nvidia is already at 826 mm square. However, the growth of GPU sizes is not sustainable. The graph on the left shows the estimated yield at various die sizes for TSMC 7 nanometer process. As the chip or die size grows, as shown on the x axis, the yield, that is the amount of working silicon per silicon wafer, reduces as shown on the y axis. Lower yield implies wasted dies and thus costlier GPUs. Shown on the right is a recent estimate from semi-analysis which shows that manufacturing a larger die is much costlier than two smaller dies of approximately half the size. Thus, it is not possible to continue pushing die sizes further in a cost-effective manner. Therefore, GPU manufacturers are moving from single-chip monolithic designs to multi-chip module or MCM GPUs. A monolithic GPU has all its resources like compute units, L2 cache, L2 TLB, page workers and high bandwidth memory on a single die or chip. With the transition to MCM design, the resources of a monolithic GPU are distributed amongst multiple smaller chiplets. These chiplets are interposed on a package and then connected to each other via fast on-package interconnects. By having multiple smaller dies, a GPU manufacturer can keep growing the compute capability of GPUs. Thanks to higher yield rate with smaller dies, MCM processors cost much less than equivalent monolithic chips. Processor manufacturers are fast moving to multi-chip or chiplet design. AMD, Intel and Nvidia are already on the MCM bandwagon. However, the drawback of MCM design is that it brings in non-uniformity to the picture. Accessing resources on remote chiplet is slower since it requires crossing the on-package interconnect and each trip can take more than 30 nanoseconds as per NVIDIA. Previous works have studied the effect of MCM designs on data accesses. Here, shown on the left are threads of a GPU kernel along with the data that they access. The color coding denotes the access relation between threads and the data pages. For example, the green color threads access the data pages in green. Namely, scheduling the threads and placing data across chiplets can lead to expensive remote accesses. To combat the effects of non-uniformity in data accesses, prior work like LASP, published in Micro 20, uses static analysis of GPU kernels to determine their access patterns and then schedules threads and places data on chiplets such that the threads mostly access data pages on the local memory. While the implications of MCM design on data accesses have been studied previously, we, for the first time, study the implications of MCM design on virtual memory. At a high level, we find there are two major implications of non-uniformity on MCM GPU's virtual memory. First, L2 TLB lookups may be local, that is, to the same chiplet as the request origin, or remote, that is, to a different chiplet. Remote lookups incur higher latency compared to local L2 TLB lookups due to the latency of traversing the interconnect. Second, the non-uniformity affects the page walk latency. Upon an L2 TLB miss, the page workers on the same chiplet walk the page table to translate the virtual address. In current designs, the driver may place page table entries or PTEs on the HBM or memory of any of the chiplets. Therefore, a page walk may require up to four remote memory accesses to complete the page walk. Remote accesses, both TLB lookup accesses and remote page table accesses, can lead to slower address translation and thus slower kernel execution. The impact of non-uniformity in L2 TLB lookups and page table accesses depends on the configuration or design of the virtual memory subsystem. On one hand, we have private TLB configuration where the TLB slices on each chiplet is private. That is, it caches translations requested by the compute units on the same chiplet. Private TLB configuration ensures that TLB lookups are all local and thus benefit from lower latency. However, with private TLB, the L2 TLB entries can be replicated across L2 TLB slices across different chiplets. This replication leads to lower aggregate TLB capacity and thus higher L2 TLB miss rates. Thus, private TLB provides low latency TLB lookups at the cost of higher L2 TLB miss rates. 
The other obvious alternative is a shared TLB configuration where the L2 TLB slices across chiplets are treated as if they are a single logically unified TLB. A hash function shown here as HSL or home slice selection function is employed at the compute unit to hash the virtual address of an address translation request and determine the L2 TLB slice responsible for servicing a given virtual address. We call the L2 TLB slice responsible for servicing a given virtual address as its home node. The shared TLB design benefits from higher aggregate capacity but suffers from higher average TLB lookup latency as a large fraction of the L2 TLB lookups can be removed. Both private and shared TLB design suffer from remote PTE or page table accesses. The page tables may be distributed across the chiplets of an MCM GPU. Upon an L2 TLB miss, the page table workers on the same chiplet walk the page table. Depending on where the PT is resident, the page table workers on a chiplet may have to access remote memory on other chiplets. This incurs additional latency, increasing the L2 TLB miss latency and overall slowing down the execution of the program. We present de detailed quantitative analysis of each of these factors in the paper. At a high level, we find that remote page walks account for around 50% of the overheads of address translation in shared design. Further, we find that it is important to utilize the aggregate capacity of the L2 TLB slices across all the chiplets. Our solution, MCM Aware GP Virtual Memory, or MGVM for short, aims to reduce the impact of non uniformity on address translation. Based on our observations, we define three goals. One, we need to minimize L2 TLB misses. Two, we have to limit the number of remote L2 TLB lookups. And three, we have to minimize the number of remote PT accesses to reduce the page walk latency. To this end, we first propose static analysis directed HSL to tackle the first two goals. We start out by using the L2 TLB slices as a logically unified L2 TLB to maximize TLB utilization. Thus, like the shared TLB design, we are able to leverage the aggregate capacity of the L2 TLB slices. Next, we have to ensure that most L2 TLB lookups are local. For each kernel launch, using the same static analysis which last used for data placement, we configure the HSL such that if data accesses are local, then the L2 TLB accesses are going to be local too. By choosing the appropriate HSL for each kernel, based on their access patterns, MGVM ensures that most L2 TLB lookups are local. The second part of MGVM, HSL Directed PTE Placement, tackles remote memory accesses due to page walks. With HSL directed PT placement, our goal is to ensure that a page worker will mostly access local memory. As we have seen, the hash function or HSL is responsible for determining the TLB slice that services a given virtual address range. Therefore, the HSL also determines the page workers that service a given virtual address range. MGVM places PTEs, particularly the leaf level PTEs, on the same chiplet where the corresponding TLB entries are hashed to. Thus, the page table workers responsible for servicing a given virtual address range will find the corresponding PTEs on the same chiplet. Thus, MGVM achieves the best of both private and shared TLB configurations while also minimizing remote PT accesses. There are other challenges we faced with MGVM like ensuring alignment of PT pages and HSL and handling imbalance of distribution of TLB entries across chiplets. We refer the viewer to our paper for more details. Now over to evaluation. We simulated an MCM GPU with four chiplets and an interconnect latency of 32 nanoseconds one way. For generality, we studied both TLB sensitive and agnostic workloads. MGVM performs around 50% better than private TLB configuration and around 30% better than shared. For each application, MGVM performs better than or as well as the better performing alternative among private or shared. The paper has much more detailed evaluation. In conclusion, we found out that MCM's non-uniformity affects GPU virtual memory in two key ways. One, remote TLB lookups affect TLB lookup latency and two, remote PT accesses increase the page walk latency. In response, we propose MGVM that leverages static analysis directed TLB home slice selection to reduce remote TLB lookups and informed PT placement to, re to reduce remote PT accesses. Our code and simulation infrastructure are evaluated and are available publicly. 
Please check our lab's GitHub page for additional scripts. Thank you.